cameras trained on one man. What a fabulous start to the season for him. Does he have more goals in his future? Stay with us. Hello from the industrial west of Germany. We're in the city of Gelsenkirchen. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Schalke facing Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, I expect goals, Derek. The form he's in, you expect goals every time you see him. You'd hope that back line had been studying the tapes, but most of the teams this season haven't worked him out. This is how Schalke will begin the game. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. And the starting 11 for Eintracht Frankfurt. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back, Lee? Not at all. Under Bruce Rock, it's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. Moussa Diaby. Tavarsh. Now with Toruna Riga. Jeremy Frimpong. Kakere. Florian Neuhaus. And given away by Schalke. Maxence Kakere. Oh, big chance! goes an early goal no wonder they're celebrating well here's the replay it's a lovely quick counter attack that sets up the chance and once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat he hammers it into the back of the net smashing goal Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. The opening goal of the game, then. Jeremy Frimpong. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. This could level it. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. It is to be a throw-in. Almada. Well, couldn't keep it. Vidra. He succeeds in clearing it. Maxence Kakere. And then with a real chance. It must go in, surely. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front.
Well, as we can see again here, he knows exactly what he's doing and kids all the defenders with the cutback. And that eventually leads to what amounts to a simple task of rounding the goalkeeper. 2v1, there's only one winner. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. It's going their way, 2-0. And news of a goal scored at the Zignali Duna Park, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Cologne. 16 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Well, it's one pass after another. Can they get in behind them? And a useful cross. Nuno Tavares Almada Jeremy Doku oh, Showing excellent vision Still alive Well it came to nothing in the end Vidra Gibril so and this would reduce the deficit and it's in this game very much back on as a contest well here's the replay and as we see it's a class ball through to split the defence but most of the blame has to be levelled at the goalkeeper your coach is a youngster to always protect your near post and he just didn't do that and paid the price. Well, 2-1 it is here. Almada. Jovalic. Munas Dabur. Well, a good tackle. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. And a free kick awarded by the referee. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. And you don't want to lose possession there. He had to react and did. And breaking at pace with Menace. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Jovalic. On to Dabur. Dejan Jovalic. He's going forward well here. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Well read to put an end to that attack. I'm hearing there's been a goal scored at the Zignal Iduna Park. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Borussia Dortmund. 37 minutes played. 1-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Diaby. And here's Neuhaus. And in the perfect position to read it. Vidra. Steven Zuber with it. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Klosterman and fed back to the goalkeeper so could play it in what can he do from here how on earth did the goalkeeper 
keeper get there? Well, he's died forever, hasn't he? He's got that strong hand on it. It's a brilliant save. And he's fired over the corner. And still dangerous. Able to deal with the threat. Difficult to stop him. Crossing into the middle. Thumped clear. So the half-time whistle is sounded. And it's so far so good for the hosts, Lee. Well, they are the league's top scorers and that normally leads to an attack-based goal fest and both teams have done their bit. Fabulous game, more to come, I think. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Almada, Maxence Kakere. Chance to do damage. You can sense the threat is there. Looked as though they meant business, but now they've got to try again. So. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Almada failed to keep hold of it. Looks promising, this. No possibilities in the centre. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, a badly timed run, just a fraction offside. Substitution time it is. And let's join Alan McAnally now, because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Borussia Dortmund game. Alan. It's a second goal for Cologne. 53 minutes, please. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Plays it back. But it can't get through. Dangerous looking attack. Diaby. Adeyemi. Almada. Look, look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Defensive resilience to shut them down. Well, plenty of reports out there in the sports blogs, tabloids and social media that Borussia Dortmund may well be getting an exciting new addition to the squad league. Yeah, if the media and the papers are believed, they've made an official bid. Not surprising, really. He's a top player. There's been rumblings for a while now. I guess we're likely to find out over the next couple of days or so. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Doku in the right place to cut out the pass. Well, something has changed at the Mercedes Benz Arena. A goal there. Alan McAnally can tell us how it came about. It's a goal for Stuttgart. It's been scored by Mikhail Grigoric. An attempted clearance went straight to him, and he had little left to do to slot home. 63 minutes played. 1 1. Many thanks, Alan. And he's in. Can he convert? And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. So there it is 3 1, the current scoreline here. So. How could he take them on and beat them? Gibril so it is to be a throw in so a personnel change then a chance to whip it in 
pumped clear. So, good looking sequence. And the cross into the middle. And far from the ideal cross. Keeper's ball all the way. Oh, the keeper at fault. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Really bright looking attack. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. It looks promising. A goal here, giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here we see it again, Derek. He's just unaware there's people around him and he loses it too easily. Then it's catch-up and they can't recover. Terrible goal to concede. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. Toruna Riga. Frimpong. Doku. Jeremy Frimpong. More live Bundesliga action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Schalke facing Werder Bremen. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute bell to Derek. And an astute piece of defending. Only 10 minutes remaining here. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Zuber. Delivering it into the box. Making sure nothing came of it. Rode. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Well, possibilities inside the box. Zuber. Now will the cross work out for them? And the McAnally is at the ready to tell us about a goal that's been scored at the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Alan. It's a second goal for Bayer Leverkusen. In with a chance. Cuts it back. goalkeeper was called upon and they still have an opportunity here well as a goal down all you've got to do is give your strikers a chance to get back in the game now a short corner here now he must favor the cross Did well to win the ball back. We have entered the final minute of normal time. And there it is, the final whistle, and it's a victory for the home side. They're going to be happy with this result, Lee. Well, split by that one goal, that's how close the game was. Neither team deserved to lose, really. It was so tight. Maxence Kakeré.